VS Code has a feature that I never knew about until recently, and maybe you didn't either. For some of you, it might not be that helpful, but for many of us, it's going to save a ton of frustration, so it's definitely worth knowing about. A couple of weeks ago for an upcoming project, I was working on an ESP32 board and a Raspberry Pi Pico at the same time. VS Code has great extensions for both of these that pretty much transform it into a purpose-built IDE. The problem is the other 99% of the time while you're coding, you don't want that, and you definitely don't want both of them at the same time. I'd installed the ESP IDF extension in the past, and I had VS Code set up to sync all my extensions across work and home, and suddenly every time I tried to open a new window, it would take over and say, oh, do you want to create a new project? Do you want to upload this random C++ code to a board that doesn't exist? It got pretty frustrating and I disabled it quickly. But now I've discovered the profiles feature. After looking it up, it looks like it might have actually been in there for a little while, but it used to be hidden down in the menu in the bottom left hand corner. But now all you've got to do is go File, New Window with Profile, New Profile. From here you can start with an empty one or a template. And we can set a name for it, so ESP IDF, and we can choose an icon. We can choose whether we want some things to stay in sync with the default profile or whether some we want customized for this one. So for example, I might want to keep my keyboard shortcuts across from my other profile, but I don't want to sync the extensions. I want them to be specific for this one. And then once you've created it, you can use this to switch profiles and also change which one is the one that's used by default for new windows. So now I'm going to change default back to that one and I'm going to open a new window with my ASP IDF profile. I can either click this button to do that or I can go file, new window with profile, ESP IDF. So first I'm going to go ahead and install the ESP IDF extension. And you could also go ahead and get any other extensions that you'd like to use while developing this. I'm also going to change the theme, so our icon's changed here. I'm going to change the color theme to red. Nice red color there. And now I'm going to go and make another profile for the Raspberry Pi Pico. I'll change the theme for this one too. And you can see we've got our little Raspberry Pi icon down here. And for example, I can create a new C++ project. I'll just skip this bit while it downloads the SDK. So it's created my project and interestingly it's reopened it in the default profile. So I'm actually going to go File, New Window with Profile, New Profile, and then even though we're not creating a new profile, I want to select this one and go Use this profile for current window. And go Don't save. So now we're using this profile for our little Pico test project here. So if I close this now, close this one. Whoop. Didn't mean to close that. So I open up fresh VS Code window here. Now, if I want to open up a new window with the ESP project, with the ESP profile, I can do that. And there we go, it's red, it's got our ESP extension installed. If I go File, Open Recent Test, and even though I was in the ESP profile, it remembers that the last time I was on this project, I wanted the Pico profile, and you can see it swapped to that. We've got the blue background and the icon down here. I think this is such a useful tool for extensions like these that are super helpful for some projects, but unnecessary or even intrusive for others. Can you think of other extensions or projects where you might find this handy? If so, let us know down in the comments so we can all learn. Thanks to the patrons who support this channel, if you want to support this content or get early access to videos or join the Discord server, you can find the link down in the description. Alright, I'll see you next time.